trial of a New South Wales police officer charged with manslaughter over the death of a 95-year-old woman is underway in the state's Supreme Court. Senior Constable Christian White used his taser last May on the great-grandmother Claire Nowland at an aged care home and he's pleaded not guilty. Court reporter Jamie McKinnell has more. Good afternoon, Melissa. Well, the jury's been told that this incident all unfolded at the Yalambi Lodge in Cooma in May last year. Now, one morning, uh, staff called triple zero in response to what they described as an aggressive resident who was raising a knife at staff. And when police attended with paramedics, uh, they found Claire Nowland in an administration room sitting by herself with her walker and still holding a knife. The jury was told today in an opening address that there was an interaction with Christian White and his uh, shift partner at the time, which lasted about two to three minutes, and that it included a number of warnings for Claire Nowland to stop approaching towards them. At the end of that interaction, though, the jury heard that Christian White said bugger it and deployed his taser. That caused Claire Nowland to fall backwards, and we heard that she suffered an inoperable uh, injury to her head and she died a week later. Now, the Crown Prosecutor Brett Hatfield SC has said that the Crown will attempt to prove this case beyond reasonable doubt by arguing that uh, his actions amounted to either manslaughter by criminal negligence or manslaughter by an unlawful and dangerous act. Mr Hatfield has told the jury in his opening address that one of the key issues will be whether the force used by Christian White was reasonable in all of the circumstances of this incident, including considerations like Claire Nowland's age and her mobility and her frailty. And Jamie, how is video evidence and CCTV expected to come into the proceedings? Well, the jury was told that this entire interaction with Christian White and Claire Nowland was captured on both his body-worn police video camera and that of his shift partner. And a lot of her actions were also captured on CCTV as she moved around this facility uh, in the early hours of the morning. So Troy Edwards SC, who is Christian White's defence counsel, said a lot of the circumstances of this case are actually not in dispute. And he said uh, that his client made uh, a description of this event on the day of the incident in an internal police document. And he described his actions as, uh, as a, a violent com confrontation was imminent and to prevent injury to police, the taser was discharged. So Mr Edwards is really emphasising that uh, when the jury uh, comes to consider all of the circumstances of this case, uh, he says that they should conclude that the actions were reasonable. And he was emphasising as well that Claire Nowland was uh, a resident who was showing symptoms of dementia, although she hadn't been diagnosed. And he also emphasised that there had been a decline in her cognition uh, in the days and weeks before this confrontation. A police officer charged over the taser death of a great-grandmother at a New South Wales nursing home is going on trial in front of a jury today. Senior Constable Christian White deployed the weapon on Claire Noland in May last year. The 95-year-old who had dementia died in hospital from catastrophic brain injuries. The 34-year-old accused has pleaded not guilty to manslaughter. Early in the morning at this Cooma aged care facility last May, staff called triple zero about an aggressive resident. 95-year-old Claire Nowland was holding a knife and slowly approaching two police officers with her walker while they tried to speak to her in an administration room. On the first day of Senior Constable Christian White's trial, jurors heard body-worn cameras captured what followed. The accused said bugger it and deliberately discharged his taser towards Mrs Nowland who fell backwards and sustained what was a fatal head injury. The great-grandmother died a week later in hospital where family members had maintained a vigil. The Crown argues the use of the taser constitutes manslaughter by criminal negligence or unlawful or dangerous act. The 34-year-old officer has pleaded not guilty. The jury was told the evidence will explore whether Christian White's actions exceeded the force that was reasonably necessary with regard to Claire Nowland's age and lack of mobility. The Crown argues the officer owed a duty of care to Mrs Nowland, who had shown signs of dementia but was not diagnosed. Christian White's lawyer says his client had a duty to protect police, paramedics, nursing staff and Mrs Nowland herself from harm and prevent a breach of peace. A breach of the peace is exactly what was occurring and it continued until he discharged his taser on Mrs Nowland. 
The defence says Christian White's case hasn't changed since he made an internal police record on the day. As a violent confrontation was imminent and to prevent injury to police, the taser was discharged. The trial is expected to run for up to three weeks. Jamie McKinnell, ABC News, Sydney.